Inmate, be quiet while my movie is on. I knew you would come crawling back to Goo Girl, and I just can't help but wonder what it is you want from me today. Could it be that you want me to write a paper? Do you want me to do your math homework for you? Oh, you need a video essay before the end of the day. Well, that's not my problem. You see, Belladonna ASMR put my nudes up on Patreon, and that's how the FBI found me. So, I'm not exactly in the mood to deal with humans today. Or your damn video essays. Oh, it's about Hitchcock? Oh, okay, I take that back. I take that back. Um, the only thing is, is when I partially bore somebody, I require a consent form to be signed. I'm in prison for long enough. All right. Well, I assume you know by now what the drill is. You're going to take some fairy wine. Yes, I snuck some in my hair. And then you're going to start tripping balls while I try to educate you. And maybe it is a little formulaic, but it does seem to be working at least a little bit. Maybe, mm, slowly, I will finally make the world slightly less stupid. And maybe then I'll finally have somebody to properly talk to. But in the meantime, here we are. Go ahead. Drink up that cheer wine float in hush puppy flavor venom. And we can begin before your short attention span dissipates. You know, isn't it pretty? When the world spirals out of control all around you like a kaleidoscope of flowers and vines and broken shards of glass. Yes, let the world slip from you like an undertow dragging you to the depths of the ocean itself. Now, as you are surrounded by nothing but blue, I want you to imagine yourself in an art museum and you are actually smart for once yes and you see me looking at a painting of myself and then we both turn and we look at you with quite a bit of annoyance vertigo is definitely a work of pure genius. Not that you would know what that looks like. I feel like if you watched Vertigo, you would get bored halfway through and you would complain that there wasn't enough action. And I think that's exactly what's wrong with everybody on the planet today. Not enough patience. Instead, you just want the world to spiral like an angry hurricane. Vertigo is a psychological horror that sneaks up on you in the middle of the night when you're pondering what it all meant. And then you realize just how wicked it all is. And that's the genius of Hitchcock. Nothing is as it seems on the surface. Once I've used you for everything you have, I'm going to dispose of you just like they did in the good old days. It annoys me that I have to summarize Vertigo because I think everybody in the world should have seen it by now, but here we go. Spoilers. Either way, an ex-detective comes out of retirement to investigate the strange behavior of an acquaintance's wife. Her name is Madeline. Little does the ex-detective realize that Madeline is not Madeline. She is a woman pretending to be Madeline, whose real name is Judith. Oh look, you're confused already. 
You see, Judith was hired by the acquaintance to pretend to be his wife so that he could kill the real Madeline and get away with it. And the plan would have gone perfectly had Judith, pretending to be Madeline, not fallen in love with the ex-detective. Worse yet for her, thinking that Madeline is dead, the ex-detective finds her and sees that uncanny resemblance. And crazy with grief, he does everything in his power to make Judith back into the supposedly dead Madeline. It would be so easy to replace you with somebody exactly like you. Somebody so willing to please me that they would dye their hair a completely different color and they would pretend to be possessed by a ghost Long past, long ago. Why are we going to a costume store, Madeline? Is this a Shakespeare costume? Hitchcock doesn't only trick Madeline, the main character, I'm Scotty, but he also tricks the audience. No. And all what? he needs what? is a well placed camera. What? Now tell me, could you do that kind of thing? Could you, human, tell an elegant story in three dimensions using only a camera? <laughs> doubt it, doubt it, doubt it, doubt it. Oh, hey, fine. Fine, I'll dress up like William Shakespeare. Yes, you find Madeline, you can call me William Shakespeare. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, God. Oh, I feel so defeated. Oh, the conflict. It's perfectly okay if I remake you into somebody you're not. What does it matter to you, anyway? The story of the ghost named Carlotta, who Madeline is supposedly possessed by, revolves around her being thrown away by her husband until she is left poor and destitute. Then, there's the death of the true Madeline, who is literally thrown out of a church tower because her husband grew too bored of her. And finally, at the end of the movie, the ex-detective seeks to recreate the death of Madeline, his Madeline, the Madeline that never properly existed. And in that recreation, Judith slips and falls. So like two points on a spiral, they are reflective, but they are not exactly the same. I wonder if I'm doing the same thing as that detective in Vertigo. Am I sitting here recreating people into the image of something I desire? After all, my desires are so seldomly cared for. And yet here in this little world of ours, I can't help but feel such excitement, especially knowing that I get to spit you up and throw you out. Speaking of, Shack painting down there now, doesn't he? <laughs> Come on, baby, let's get out of here before the cops show up. 
I, I don't care if you're still feeling the effects of the fairy venom. Your time is up. This is what you paid for. Yes, I could tell your attention span was slipping, and I really don't feel like dealing with that sort of thing today. I am an academic. I'm not a babysitter. Yes. Yeah, so, my advice for the future. Uh, watch something that's not TikTok and get back to me. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go back into my mason jar. Don't tell that old nurse I can open it myself. <laughs> okay. Now leave. Okay, bye-bye. I'm done with you. Ta! Bye-bye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bye. Yep. Hey y'all, it's Marsha O'Hare with Nightmare Public Broadcasting here to ask if you've been spun round baby right round like a record baby round 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 round. The people who spin me right round are Zemo, Rocco, the Logosomancer, Justin Doranis, Pikanik 2, Organic Emerald, and Jack Stonebeard. If you want to spin me right round, baby, right round, then join Patreon now and get access to all kinds of things that would get me demonetized over here. Or you can give me a donation over at ko-fi.com slash ASMR. Links in the video and in the description. Now, enjoy your fairy wine hangover and drink some water. <laughs> Stay safe out there. Bye!